<clears throat> I'm doing a 10 minute wrap up uh, of what's going on. And like I said, this is like my only meant for my friends and my close associates. So I am, so I'm not really focusing on how I hear and stuff. So uh, what happened yesterday? Yesterday is my meditation Wednesdays. Meditation Wednesdays, I get some insights. So it's like a video journal. I like to record to see what insights I got. <clears throat> the thing I'm working on now is um, social media influencers because I feel what we convey indirectly is shifting people's thinking. So to be very um, thoughtful about how we put ourselves out, uh, that's one thing I'm learning. And don't worry about appearance because it's not about what uh, you represent outside it's like what is the core of you that uh, makes a shift in people so that being said what I was working on was Samaraja Lakshmi that's like uh, um, I started doing like my intense prayer and Samaraja Lakshmi is an emperor and uh, she um, her manual was uh, retrieved in Tanjore, Tanjore in Tamil Nadu, and they have only retrieved 265 pages. But Swami Nityananda, uh, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam, was able to retrieve 527 pages of the Emperor's manual, and still, one, it is up to 136 chapters he has put together, and last few pieces are missing. So we have, uh, they started translating up to chapter four. And um, it's like, I, I love it so much. So I soaked it up like a sponge. So I was, um, one of the thing um, so many Tiananda was saying was that Hridaya, which is Anahata, right? Hata means word. And he says Anahata is unspoken word. So just like in Christianity, how they say, how they say, word was with God, word became God. So when the word is not spoken, it's held in the heart. And when it's spoken word, it gets expressed, it gets into passion, and it gets into um, our way of life, right? So that's another way to think. So because of that, I, uh, I, um, connect with uh, my mother spirit, Lakshmi, from that sp space, because she's the ruler of the heart chakra. Uh, and so there is a description. She has a flat umbrella, white in color, for her um, emperorship. And then she wears a golden sari, and that emits um, brilliance of, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, the diamond like brilliance and she has a pinkish veil so i decided to do the mantra her mantra in my heart without speaking and then in the evening uh, when i was driving back from work my mother called me she she said i the way it appears in my thinking which i didn't initiate was i need to go to the temple and that thought didn't come from me, so I know it was created in that space. So I decided to honor and I go, come to find out she's, it looked like she was wearing a white sari when I was looking from, from the entrance of the temple. But when I go near, it actually had a pink, pinkish tinge. I wish I could take a picture because uh, in temple they don't allow picture. So then that itself felt like a bl blessing and I felt so touched. So after I finish the prayers, I leave. This was Tuesday night. Wednesday, when I woke up, my marriage pendant, uh, it never comes apart, okay? It is always in this golden thread given by my mom. And it never comes apart, and it fell apart. And uh, I was told in Akashic reading by Sundari, Sundareshwar, the first Gurukul uh, lineage of 
Swamiji, that I'm not meant to be a one man's wife, but instead to rule and take my uh, post as the emperor's emperor, like meaning like I need to have a um, higher responsibility. And I understand that. And I spoke to my husband about it and he was saying like, you know, we need to finish raising our kids and that could be my ultimate uh, goal. So I kind of respect it. So I went in and I finished my meditation and I decided since it came out to honor that, and then I used a deer skin, okay, and then I tied my Mangal Sutra. The reason is deer skin, ancient uh, wisdom, they used it for Mangal Sutra when they are in forest and stuff. Sita and all like wore it in deer skin. The deer symbolizes restless mind, so that's why um, Shiva holds it in his hand. And the deer skin, you can use it to tie Mangal Sutra, kind of like controlling the excess uh, mind. And it has like, you know, symbolically, like so many things I have in my Mangal Sutra. This is like my, uh, actually, when we got married, the uh, my husband gave it to me in turmeric. Actually, I got married with a, usually in India, uh, for, for emergency. See, like uh, the turmeric, can you see? I put it in the, uh, uh, they, they tie the yellow string in turmeric and for emergency because we couldn't afford any gold. And uh, then my sister, after one week, she sent me my first Mangal Sutra and I was, Telling Lakshmi, she'll wear one half for me, I'll wear one half. So I gave her one. And so one of them is a different uh, uh, symbols than the other because the other half Lakshmi wears. And I told her if my, my marriage survives, uh, I will give her another one in five years. So the five years later, I asked my sister to send me another set and so another half is with Lakshmi and then the temple from Brahmotsvam they gave me this gift it'll say because this is what they put, put it under her I don't know if you guys can see it it's so hard right to read that's actually uh, uh, it'll say Lakshmi, L A L U C K, Lakshmi. That's the way they mispronounced it, but I guess I don't know whether that's deliberate. And then I have a little owl because that symbolizes Lakshmi's vehicle. And then this is a Tibetan all prayers. Actually, in India they call it Puttutali. It's, it looked like a dot, but it symbolizes turtle's back. So it's supposed to be enduring marriage. So the other half, one of my friend is wearing. So I always like share my jewelry. So I wear only half, the other half goes to my friend. So this became my new Mangal Sutra yesterday. And then gods themselves sent me, I should say, an uh, emperor seal, right? And so this one is called Brahmi. And I, I don't know where you guys can see it. I should probably go for the Brahmi is the ancient way they used to write and it's actually a seal you emperors were using and that kind of became fitting because my mom now is in the spirit world so I am wearing this so the emperor's uh, commitment role I'm gonna play so Paramashiva Tua so this Brahmi um, uh, actually, uh, ancient calligraphy is a book I was reading and it's available in Amazon and you could see the words. On the top, it looked like Ram, H-R-A-U-M, and in the middle, ha, whom, if you see it look like ha, like, you know, see, like, it looks like a, so uh, Homa Gundam is in the middle, right? So what I'm doing is from the Anahata center, I'm putting my thumb in, and I'm going, I am going to that space where I don't speak the word, but I directly infuse the energy in there. And it is beautiful, the, the homa I'm doing from my heart. 
And I actually was doing a meditation where I told them I'm going to release the words through the tip of my fingers and I'm going to infuse life. And I could hear distinctly somebody say, wow. <laughs> so I don't know who walked it and I don't know what was the wowing about. I kind of like blindly do, do what I want to do. Um, so and the, when I bought this uh, in in a Tibet store, when I put it in my heart, my whole body went into vibrations and the Rudra paused, like when I was listening, Kamari Bishavo, Kulali Bia Kamari Bishavo, Namo Namo, that's 4.2.6, say four, um, I think it is uh, a chapter, uh, like I don't know whether it's a chapter, it starts with A, uh, like I forgot like what the exact word is. So 4.2.6, if you see, it, it says God is my potter, God is my blacksmith. And so uh, Rudra himself, I feel, bestowed this on me as a blacksmith. And now that yesterday, Sadavishta, I was looking at the Titi yesterday. And uh, Titi was Dwateya. I love Dwateya because that's when Vaishnavi was born. Vaishnavi's Titi is Dwateya. And so she's like another one I love. And, uh, and uh, Sadabishta was the star yesterday. Sadabishta Siddhiratsu, Sadabishta Siddhiratsu, because it is thousand gods, blessing of thousand gods. And the idea materially what I'm working with is I worked for a guy for three years. He didn't pay me. I assumed he's going to pay me and I got... Uh, uh, misled and he doesn't want to take a responsibility he came he claimed the bankruptcy and stuff so I was meditating to see what I need to do and Sadabishta star interestingly um, he uh, they uh, the uh, Varuna was originally um, like you know Varuna it was the god and Indra Varuna were having fights it seems and in uh, when the river were tortured by a snake a demon, Varuna kind of like became complacent and didn't take responsibility whereas Indra fought the war and he won. So he banished Varuna to be the husband of all these uh, rivers and so uh, he became Asura versus so Asura and Asura the distinguish in between divine and uh, demon beings they said is taking responsibility. So it became very apparent to me, even though, like, you know, it's so easy to unclutch and let it go, like, just how Swamiji says, I have to go through the legal procedures to get the money back. It's not about uh, whether the money comes or not. It's taking responsibility for correcting a situation. And if I don't, I am uh, allowing a, a sura type of attitude to continue. That's the way I got. So... So I'm going to pursue that, but it takes a lot of energy to process a spiritual way and then understand and do it the legal way as well. But there is another girl who took money from me and didn't pay me back and she's broke. Her credit score is 482 and she went, got on the flight to go to India to attend the Paramashiva home process. And that lady... Actually, uh, Biddy was very kind. They gave me back the money. But the flight part she took, I didn't know that to go after her. I felt that emotional pain of her struggling. I cannot do it. So I'm going to let it go. So that piece, I'm not going to pursue legally. But I'm going to pursue with my colleague because one comes from dire poverty and one comes from not taking responsibility. So I'm going to work with both of them, but this is what I'm going to put it out to you guys. And I'm daily praying to uh, Samraja Lakshmi to guide me. So I'll keep you guys posted. And this is my new commitment um, necklace I'm wearing with my mom's. They call it Cody. My mom wore this all her life to have her marriage pendant. And now my marriage pendant is on. The deep skin, so I'm still committed and married. 
but I'm also spiritually making a commitment and married to Paramashiva himself. And I'm working with my mother, Sri uh, Samaraja Lakshmi. That's another upgrade Swamiji gave. And now I am a Kailasa Vasi and I am working in Jyoti Kailasha. This is made with lights. So I'm committed to the light world. Okay, that's my video.